Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Style 3D Simulator. This lesson is the 10th section of the Simulator in Death course. The focus of this section is the use of cache functionality in the sequencer of the simulator. The use of cache functionality in the simulator. Support for caching garment files in the cache. Recording garment files. Editing, rendering, and other operations. Moreover, you can directly operate an Unreal Sequencer. It's more convenient. Next, I'll demonstrate recording cache and sequencer. Open the UE project. Here is the avatar with the adapted garment animation. Create a new level sequence in the browser below. Add a character actor track to the sequence. Moreover, you can directly operate an Unreal Sequencer. It's more convenient. Next, I'll demonstrate entering the cache and sequencer. And add a garment cache track to it. The red line indicates that the cache file for this interval has not been generated yet. Right-click on the cache bar in the track. In the properties, change the mode to cache record. Cache recording mode. You can also edit the cache name. On the right, change the simulation mode of the simulator. To cache recording. And check the recording of human animation in the column below. To prevent mismatch between garment cache and character during playback. Avoiding penetration issues. Next, in the sequence, add the avatar animation. Match the duration of the garment cache with the avatar animation. In the top left corner of the rendering output. Users can choose the old version. Or they can choose the movie render queue. For higher quality rendering output. The Movie Render Queue plugin is in the Edit column. Click on the plugin, search, and add it. Click on the top left perspective option. Otherwise, you won't see anything when you click Render. Click on the top left perspective option. You can change to different perspectives. Also, adjust the camera's position and focus. Feel free to adjust them. For the best visual effect. Note, if you've already cached, then add the cache file. It will directly add the pre-recorded cache file. The solution is to right-click on the selection. In its properties, change its file name. Create a new cache file. Then click on the top left to record. Rendering is complete. Cache recording ends automatically and is saved. At this point, the cache bar turns green. Now the cache is complete. When previewing after cache completion, you need to change the simulation mode in the simulator to cache playback and enter the cache name of the sequence. Finally, click on render output to produce the final video. Next, let's demonstrate adding existing garment cache. The previous steps are the same. Debug the garment fit and collision and record the garment file. Then, similarly, add a level sequence. Add the pre-recorded garment cache file. And avatar animation, let's fast forward here. After user editing and settings, you can render the output. Finally, when recording cache in movie render queue, character animations may not be smooth. There may be jumps in animation. This can result in garment simulation issues like clipping. It's recommended to enable engine warm-up. In rendering settings for anti-aliasing. Alright, 
That concludes all the content for this lesson. Feel free to like, share, and leave comments on the video. See you in the next video.